Hello friends, my name is Kaylee. I am the founder of Zipnada, a sustainable lifestyle brand. And today I wanted to share some tips on how you can practice zero waste living, even if you're broke. So one of the most common misconceptions about zero waste that I see is people feel the need to have to get rid of all of their plastic stuff, plastic Tupperware, um, Ziploc bags, all of that gone, and replace everything with plastic free alternatives, which can be really expensive and turn people away from even wanting to try zero waste in the first place. That is very counterproductive. Uh, we are trying to keep plastic away from the landfill and from the ocean. First thing to do is use what you already have, which will save you money. So number one, when I first started out, I used stainless steel utensils from, uh, let's see, I was living in high school, so from my mom's cupboard. Um, and I made these napkins out of scrap pieces of fabric that I just kind of sewed around and I would just wrap the utensils up in the napkin and put in my bag with me and boom there you go reusable utensils no money spent now i have a uh, bamboo utensils where i had that that is what i did and it worked just as well number two i currently use a stainless steel fancy uh, lunch box that i keep with me but before i had that i just used whatever lightweight tupperware was in my mom's cupboard and that worked just fine as well when i would go out to restaurants and i would pull out my little tupperware and i'd put my leftover food in it and boom perfect um, if you don't have Tupperware, I would recommend if you buy food that has like a reusable or something that can be reusable, wash it out, use that. I have a friend that left a vegan ice cream container here and I just rinsed it out really well and I use that as Tupperware to send home with people. Didn't have to buy anything fancy. Number three, when I first started out, I didn't buy any fancy glass water bottles or uh, matching Pinterest worthy mason jars for food storage. I use, and actually this is something I still continue to do, um, I use spaghetti jars, glass spaghetti jars. Any food container that had a reusable lid, like a twist lid, I just rinsed it out and would reuse it. Uh, same with my glass water bottles. A lot of my glass water bottles are just old kombucha bottles or any drink that is glass that has a twist top. I sewed my own grocery bags. So anyone who knows me knows that I am not a great seamstress, but I try. And when I first started out, I didn't have grocery, reusable grocery bags. I think at that point my mom didn't use a lot of reusable grocery bags. So I had a couple old t-shirts and I just kind of followed a YouTube tutorial. I cut it, you had yourself a reusable bag. So the point being is look at what you already have. Get a little creative. Find some ways to reuse some stuff. It's recycling. I'm not saying that buying zero waste products or gear is bad. I personally sell it. I believe in the products. They are definitely make your life more convenient, but don't let that stop you. If you can't afford something, don't be like, oh, I can't be a zero waster because I don't have bamboo utensils or I don't have a reusable lunchbox or I don't have reusable napkins or any insert whatever reusable item that you're lacking. You can do without it. And at the end of the day, those tools are just that, tools. You can still practice zero waste without them. It's all about habits. It's all about constantly reminding yourself. It's about coming prepared. You need the foundation of the habit first. And I know lots of people that have zero waste gear and they don't use it because they don't have the habit. So creating the habit in the first place, that's how you become a zero waster. That's how you uh, live a low impact lifestyle. And when I first started, I didn't have all of this stuff. And I, to be honest, never bought any of it. I personally don't spend a lot of money on tangible products because I like to spend my money on experiences and food. I like the experience of food. A great way to receive zero waste gear is for gift ideas. The gear I have has been gifted to me through friends and family. My fancy glass reusable water bottle was a gift for my birthday from my aunt. 
Uh, my very first set of stainless steel straws was a Christmas gift from my mom. For birthdays, for holidays, tell your friends and family that you are starting zero waste. Uh, show them some of the stuff that you're interested in and that you think would help you to uh, more easily attain that goal. So over time, you will accumulate stuff that you will use regularly. And those things definitely make your life easier, but again, they are not a necessity. You do not have to have them to practice zero waste. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.